There's a common belief that preheating glow plugs twice helps a diesel engine start better in the cold, but is that really true? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a closer look at how glow plugs actually work. I know not everyone has an oscilloscope at home, but I do. And I can show you exactly what's happening in the glow plug control system. Hopefully, you'll learn something new. Glow plugs are especially critical in cold weather. But here, in my region, the climate has been acting weird. I had to wait quite a while for the temperature to finally drop below 0 degrees Celsius. Even on New Year's Eve, snow isn't guaranteed and February is usually the coldest month. We even have a local joke. Oh great, another New Year's Eve, no snow, and it's plus 8 degrees Celsius outside. When was the last time this happened? In August, my friend, in August. But when winter finally arrives, it's beautiful. The snow covers up the dull, autumn grey and dirt. Honestly, it's pretty nice. But let's get back to cars. So, what exactly is the idea we're going to test? Turn the ignition on, wait for the coil symbol to disappear, turn it off, then turn it on again, wait again, and only then start the engine. In theory, this should heat the glow plugs more and make the engine start more smoothly. But is this true or just a myth? Most diesel drivers are familiar with the coil symbol on the dashboard. In summer, it might not even turn on, but in winter, it stays on for a few seconds. This indicator shows when the ECU is actively heating the glow plugs. While it is on, starting the engine is not recommended. But what exactly do glow plugs do? Their job is to heat the air and raise the temperature in the combustion chamber, making it easier for diesel fuel to ignite. This is especially important in winter when the temperature is too low. Now the real question is, if we turn the ignition on twice, will it actually heat the combustion chamber more? And it all seems logical. But I once overheard some mechanics saying that glow plugs actually stay on much longer than the indicator light. That's an interesting theory, and I really want to test it. Our test subject today is a Volvo XC70, where I recently replaced the glow plugs. They are easy to access on this model, but there's a catch. In cold weather, the glow plug connectors tend to fall apart in 100% of cases. For this test, we will use a brand new glow plug and connect it externally, so we can visually observe how it heats up. We will also connect an oscilloscope to monitor the control signal. For those unfamiliar, an oscilloscope displays electrical signals over time. Basically, it gives us a graph of how the glow plug operates. This way, we can see exactly when and how the engine control unit supplies power to the plugs. I filmed everything with my new camera, but the autofocus didn't cooperate. So, some of the footage is out of focus, but I am stubborn. I'll figure it out. Alright, turning on the ignition. On the oscilloscope, we first see the voltage rise to 12 volts, then it switches to pulse width modulation mode. This means the engine control unit doesn't just turn the plug on and off, but adjusts the heating power dynamically. Here's something interesting. The dashboard indicator has already turned off, but the glow plug is still working. So the indicator does not show when the plug actually stops heating. Here's a close-up of the oscilloscope. You can clearly see how the signal changes. Now let's start the engine. We wait for the indicator to go out and... The glow plug is still glowing. The oscilloscope even fell over from the vibration, but the signal remained. The plug stays active even after the engine starts. This confirms that the dashboard indicator is just a suggestion for the driver, while the glow plugs actually operate based on the logic of the engine control unit. Now the big question, how long do they really stay on? Answer. A very long time. Conclusion. Turning the ignition on twice does nothing. If you want to warm up the cylinders more, just wait a little longer before starting the engine. But what if this is just a Volvo thing? I got curious, so I took apart my Porsche. Different brand, different engine, and 6 years newer. I connected the oscilloscope and started the engine. And what do we see? Almost the same thing. The only difference is in the details. First the plug gets full voltage, then it is maintained with pulses, even after the engine has started. I really enjoyed this experiment. Maybe this knowledge will be useful someday. Or at the very least, it'll make for a great conversation over a cup of tea with fellow car enthusiasts. Second experiment. Spoiler. 
testing the glow plugs didn't work, but the jumper cables took the hit. At home, I have accumulated quite a few glow plugs. Whenever at least two failed, I would replace the entire set. It was a clear sign that the rest would soon follow. And on Volvo D5 engines, glow plugs are cheap. It's much easier to swap them all at once than to chase down a failing one every week. So I have a bunch of old glow plugs. Some are completely dead, while others might still be functional. The goal of this experiment was to see if there's a noticeable difference between old and new glow plugs. Over the years, I've seen some interesting cases, like glow plugs that only heat up in one tiny spot, or ones that take forever to get hot. I was hoping to find something similar in my collection. I decided to connect multiple glow plugs from a D5 engine all at once, to make the comparison more visual. While setting them up, I noticed something surprising. They were different in length. Even though they all came from D5 engines, some were from a 2003 model, while others were from a 2007. To assemble them, I used a wooden block as an insulator, and secured them with perforated metal strapping, the kind carpenters used to reinforce beams and joints. For the positive connection, I used small bolts and nuts. For the negative, I simply screwed them into the wood. The result? A pretty solid structure. Now time to test. I connected a car battery using jumper cables and nothing happened. Well, something did happen, just not what I expected. The jumper cables became extremely hot to the touch and nearly scorched my hand, but the glow plugs barely warmed up. The current draw was too high. All right, let's remove some glow plugs and try again. This time it was slightly better. But still, the cables were overheating and limiting the current, so the glow plugs barely got warm. My ambitious experiment completely failed. And that's really frustrating. However, one new glow plug and one old glow plug located close together obviously had less resistance than the others, which allowed them to heat up. It was also obvious that the new glow plug heated up a little faster and over a larger area. I later tested the glow plugs one by one and noticed that some heated up significantly slower than others, while a few were still in decent condition. So that's my little experiment, maybe not the most successful one, but still quite interesting. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again for more useful videos on my channel.